So guys, interesting story. Recently, I was taking one of the interview of a particular person. That person knows me very well, right? Because of my YouTube channel. And what happened was when I basically asked two basic questions, what exactly is a rest constraints? She was clueless. She was clueless. And when I asked, she said, okay, she has worked on almost like six years on the rest assured. And when I asked a very basic question, which is what is request pacification? Is it a class or interface? She was clueless. And she walked out of interview. And this is one of the important thing I want to talk about. Why you should not walk out of the interview even if you don't know the questions. Let me tell you one of the important scenarios. So when I was giving an interview for one of the reputative firm, I'm going to not name it, but see, even when I started giving the interview, initial three questions, right? First question was so hard, I, I didn't know it, right? Second question was again, it was a consecutive or you can say the similar question of that I was not able to do it I, even I was not able to code at the time because I was not able to give the first answer well my second answer was impacted and the third one which actually I knew the answer I basically messed up the reason was the reason I'm telling you all this is because Whenever you don't know the answer, please don't walk out of interview because many times this will happen in your interview where you're trying to give answer. I have taken more than 200 interview. The reason I'm telling you all this is basically never walk out is because I have seen multiple times where the starting of the in the starting of interview, people have given wrong answers or they have not given the proper answer. But after that, the topics that they know, right, they were able to give a better answers and it was an amazing answer they had given and I have selected multiple times those persons. So never walk out of an interview. This is the learning that I wanted to give you. And sometimes what happens is suppose there are 10 questions overall the interviewer is going to ask, suppose, right? Initial three, suppose you made a bad impression, but that's fine keep going because when there is a question where you know about it you will be able to crack it I'll tell you the real scenario so in uh, one of my previous two previous companies they asked me about selenium so I had some of the clue about the selenium at the time because I was learning AP automation so my selenium practice was bad to be honest this is around I think 2014 ish or 50 ish I think I had two years of experience where I was just switched from manual to API at the time and selenium I didn't have any knowledge at the time the first question he asked about selenium I was not able to give the answer that's fine because it was related to some expat or something second question he asked again about the selenium I was not able to do it because I was not comfortable then I asked him sir can you please ask from the APIs because I am well versed of it I have practiced it right then he asked me about the APIs and trust me I was able to give the answer so very well I got selected in that company right because of that I think I have mentioned multiple times the name of that company see in overall the reason I'm telling you all this is the simple thing throughout your interview there will be supposed 10 questions that they are going to ask suppose it is a bad start don't worry because somewhere line there will be a question where you are so great well, you are going to impress them right this is one of the learning that i have learned right and trust me you will be able to do it if you're liking these kind of interview series that i'm doing give me a like and subscribe to the channel right share with anyone who think uh, you think that okay this will be beneficial for them right i hope this makes sense right thanks a lot for watching this video if you want to become a part of the automation tester blueprint right now early bird discount is going on please make sure you join it right let's begin an automation tester in 2023 i've done it multiple batches this is one of the batches which has uh, which is going to start i'm motivated and let's see you in the live class all right bye thanks for watching.